So we got a Rockola jukebox amplifier here, model 52280A. Um, started making a weird sound when you turned on the jukebox like a machine gun was firing. And I looked up online for a couple days and couldn't really find an answer. And then I stumbled upon this company in Europe that makes uh, a special chip. It's called a PEC8 chip. Um, so we're going to put that in today and fix this amplifier. So first off, you want to take out the amp first. And then once you get it out, it's pretty easy. Just a couple plugs right there and then a plug right there and two bolts and to get it open just push this down so once you get that open you're going to have two chips here one here one here these are the two we're going to replace um, so these come out pretty easily. There's this thing that goes on front and you just take out these two nuts in the front there with like a nut driver or something. And then there's a plug here. I marked with left plug here, marked with a left. And then you just push out these tabs on each side and then they just pull right out and then we'll take these out too these plugs so let me do that all right got the two boards out uh it doesn't really matter which side they go on they're both the exact same board um 52265a 52265a so this is the part we're going to replace right here. It's got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pins. And then on the back, those are the solder joints right there. So we're going to put some solder on them and desolder them with a this is an old Radio Shack desolder tool um, I don't know if they sell them anymore Radio Shack's out of business but you can find something similar so you're just going to have to get that chip out it's pretty easy with those just the seven joints so we'll get that taken out So you got the chip loosened and when you're bringing it out you just want to make sure that you don't mess up any of these 
solder joints because if you pull it out too hard you should make sure they all move freely before you try pulling out just wiggle it out a little bit but very lightly you might have to desolder it tighter it again and then desolder it so then you want to make sure you can just pull it right out like that and then you got the one two three four five six seven and then the chip one two three four one seven right there so then you're gonna match it up like that and then solder it in I'll usually trim these parts off the clippers. I don't have them here right now. Make them look all nice so they're not touching any other. So here's the new chips installed in the board. And put them back in with the connectors. So I don't know if this will work for you, but it worked for me. Some people say you gotta replace capacitors and resistors or whatever, I don't know. All I did was uh, replace these two chips in the other amp I had. I actually bought this amp to replace the first amp and then this shit the bed in about two weeks. So I went out and figured out what to do. So I got these chips, replaced them, put them back in and it's been working fine. For about a month now so hopefully this will fix your amp if you're having this problem i know these amps have these problems a lot with this noise thing so i think it's these chips that crap out but you can go to the uh, link on the bottom of the page and see where you can get the chip it's only like 25 bucks